Well, Piers Morgan's whole tactic has been to concentrate on this date on October 7th. He's not there to, dis- the, the, um, to debate the issue why, what led to October 7th. Because sometimes when you go to a doctor and you're sick, the doctor asks you what your symptoms are. You're like, oh, I have fever, I'm nauseous, and things of that nature. He, if the doctor said, okay, you got a headache, I'm going to give you a Tylenol, and I'm going to give you something for your, uh, for your nausea, so you want... But no, he has to go to the source of the problem and treat it. For example, people who have a, an, a, an appendix uh, issue, they throw up, they walk around, they have great pain. You could just give them painkillers and send them home, but they end up dying. But when you go to the, to the core problem of the disease and, and, and surgically remove it, then the symptoms go away. So if the aqua patient disappears, there is no reason for Hamas to be in power or to attack Israeli citizens. They, they have no reason to. You understand? This is the situation. But Norman here is a nice guy. Piers is a, a professional interviewer. He's going to just corner him on that day and just waste another 30 minutes talking about October 7th instead of talking about the whole thing the picture all about the death in Gaza, the killing of children, the murder, the destruction of hospitals, the kidnapping of people, and things of that nature, the, the land being taken in the West Bank as people out of war in Gaza, and things of that nature. Let's go.